The question I get on the channel the most, other than what's in your hair, grease, pomade, gel, nah, it's hairspray, I'm traditional, is what is your favorite controller slash gamepad? I've tested and reviewed well over 100 custom, premium, and pro controllers with astronomical price tags and feature lists swanging down to your knees, but at the end of the day, much like my brain, I like to keep it simple. After hours of stick time, I've come to the conclusion that this is my favorite gamepad. We're going to review Fisher Price's flagship gamepad on a multitude of categories, including D-pad, thumbsticks, and face buttons, and find out why it's my favorite gamepad. Without further ado, let's play! Except for when I'm doing one of my tutorial videos, and then... Let's learn! That's right. Education time. This is your controller, Captain. We've reached 6,900 feet. Go ahead and start flicking the sticks and mollywop in the back paddles. Mm, you don't like back paddles? How about those rear buttons? We've tested almost 100 custom and premium controllers, and we're only at the beginning. You need a thumbstick guide or a tutorial on how to overclock your controller? Check out the controller playlist. Bing bong. Controller Captain out. As for the packaging and included accessories, Fisher Price is just doing it right. Even though this is a budget or entry level controller at $6, the presentation is astounding. As your gamepad's on display, now depending on your skill level, this gamepad is rated for ages 6 to 36 months. I just barely made the cutoff and very excited about it. little false actuation, gonna have to dock a couple of points for that. Your controller is held in place with these little plastic doodads, which are gonna twist counterclockwise or lefty-loosey, and it is gonna get your gamepad out. There is broken, loose plastic rattling around inside of the shell. That is gonna dock a couple of points for build quality. Now, you rarely see this with consumer electronic items. Batteries are included. Two AAAs included. So really, all this instruction manual pamphlet or brochure is explaining to you is that there is a little dip switch on the back, which is gonna be an on and off, but it actually has a second mode, which is low volume or high volume. Volume. So if you're a parent and you don't want your eardrums blown out by little Timmy or Sally in the other room, just spam in that C button. Go ahead and taper back the volume on them. Not on your kids. You can't turn them down. That'd be sick. But the, the toys, you can. And then with this little dip switch, you're going to change between learning, education, or having fun, entertainment. You kind of get both of my videos. I don't make you pick and choose, but the controller does. You have this little dip switch here. Let's learn. Time for school. Let's play. Time to rip it up. Let's learn. Busting up the books. Getting buck wild. All right, cool. That's a banger. That that's a that's a banger. Now, as far as cosmetics or appearance, I'm going to be overlaying some cinematic B-roll, some glamour shots, if you will. This is simply the most gorgeous controller I've ever seen. You have this happy little guy in the front that lets you know that you're going to have a damn good session of gameplay. I love the color pop here. It's extremely vibrant. It's basically like you're holding Fortnite in your hands. The only thing I don't like that's going to dock a couple of points is this little Fisher Price logo in the front. It just simply feels cheap on what otherwise is an extremely premium flagship controller. Six dollars. As for the manufacturing weight and dimensions. That's going to be popping up somewhere on screen here. That was incredibly aggressive as if I was summoning it from thin air. But as far as the real world comfort, the ergonomics and comfort when you wrap your gamer icicles around that palm grip, around these, these haunches, if you will. The shell design isn't the best as I really don't have a place for my pinky fingers to rest off, which makes sense because this is designed for 36 month year olds. Three years. Why don't parents just, why are you going off months here? Billy's 86 months old, still breastfeeding. <laughs> don't get him off the teeth. Turn the speaker off because I'm getting a lot of false actuations. What's really detrimental to comfort is just going to be this whole top section here because you have a scroll wheel up here, which is great for MMO RPGs being able to swap between inventory items. But over here you have a toggle switch, which is great for quick swapping weapons. It just doesn't feel right. Having a niblet here and a giblet here, two different things on the top of the controller really cuts into comfort. As for the build quality, the sucker is buttoned down and is definitely on par with most of the $250 to $300 controllers I have tested on the channel. One thing I don't like, there is a lot of wig or side to side play on these face buttons as they're a little bit loose and wiggly, but there's no crazy panel gaps and everything feels relatively rugged and buttoned down. And if you do run into any issues, I have done some research on the Fisher Price warranty and they give you a slew of information on their big wheels, those little electric cars. Those have a one year bumper to bumper. But as far as Fisher Price toys, not that this is a toy, this is a weapon for first person shooters for you esports athletes out there. This gamepad, uh, I'm assuming, has a one year warranty like most Fisher Price products. As for the D pad or direction, buttons. A couple things I do like and a couple things I don't. First of all, I do like that it is labeled 1, 2, 3, and 4 in case there's any on-screen prompts that might correlate with these numbers. I also like this oversized design and the fact there's a little dip or trough for you to rest your finger makes roll-offs a real joy. It's almost an unfair advantage to be using this D-pad considering you're going to be slaughtering the competition. As for the face or action buttons, also a nice story as they are different shapes. So even if you're playing with your eyes closed or you're focusing in on that screen not looking down at your gamepad, you can just kind of go off feel 
feel and recognize, mm hmm that's a star button. Or yes, that is a triangle button. These are pretty squishy or mushy as they are a membrane design, just like the D-pad. And I do feel like there's too much travel to actuate them at about two millimeters. And since there is no rear buttons on this controller, since it's not a pro controller, you're gonna be using these face buttons a lot. I'm sorry for you. As for the accessory button suite, so that's gonna be this toggle switch, the toggle switch on the back, as well as that speaker underneath the Fisher Price grill. The speaker is incredibly loud. In fact, I usually keep it on its low volume just so it doesn't startle me and squeeze a couple of drips of urine out of me when I hit a face button. This dip switch is in a good place, but I wish it was raised a little bit further out of the front shell, but no real complaints in the accessory button suite other than the fact that you don't have a damn pause or select button, which cuts into compatibility with a lot of games. Now as for the thumbsticks, joysticks, or analog sticks, not plural, there's only one of them. I feel like I only make videos on trash day, or at least I notice it more when trash trucks right out front of my house. Let us patiently wait for him to continue with his travels. I will take this opportunity to remind all you stallions and stallionettes to recycle. Oh golly, now I don't remember how I had it. No, it wasn't like that, I can I can tell you that. Why is there so much extra cordage? Damn, I should have never moved that. That was a mistake. Good enough for now, we'll come back to that later. But as for the thumbstick, analog stick, or joystick, not plural as there is only one, so you're going freestyle with the right thumb. I am not a huge fan as it is quite loose and wiggly. It's not very secure. Now clicking down L3 and R3 also feels like you're fisting a jar of mayonnaise, very squishy. And much like MSI's entry gamepad that I reviewed the other day, this thumbstick is actually not rubber or silicone. This is legit plastic so you're for sure going to want to get yourself some control freaks or some kind of universal slip over caps. Hmm, no anti-friction rings. You're going to be scraping against rough plastic of the front shell when you're at full lock on the thumbstick gates. And as far as technical analysis and gamepad tester, measuring the dead zones, accuracy and circularity of the thumbstick simply isn't going to be possible because this is on the later firmware and Fisher Price has not released a patch or update for PC compatibility yet. That and it's a fucking toy. It doesn't play any games. The bumpers are pretty good for bumping people off. You got this little toggle switch up here. To the right is a low performance mode. You haven't had your cup of coffee for the morning. You're a little bit laggy and you just want to play casually like a normie. But when you got G Fuel dripping off the mustache and you want to play like an esports sweat lord, you're ready for some slide canceling, B hopping, corner peeking, pre firing, frag banging, 360 no scope, flash banging, throwing knife clanging. Then you already know what to do. For the triggers on this controller, it's very interesting because it's actually a scroll wheel. However, it doesn't just scroll infinitely. It actually bottoms out here and here. So you only have a few steps of adjustment. However, I do like those tactile clicks and those distinct notches for each step. It makes scrolling through weapons a real breeze. Hey, yeah, you feel that breeze? It's the winds of change. Alrighty, stallions and stallionettes, thank you for watching the video, especially if you made it to this point, considering it is indeed April 1st. It is April Fool's and this is not my favorite gamepad. It's pretty sweet, don't get me wrong. Some of the features are quite robust and I love to bust when it comes to gaming, but this just ain't it. Primarily because it's not a real gamepad and you can't actually play any games with it, unlike the Winnie the Pooh controller over there, which had a dedicated PlayStation game. Maybe that controller will get featured next year's April Fools. Who knows? Or maybe I'll do something wild by then. Who even knows where me and the channel will be in one year? For a point of reference, here's a little clip of me in the room just like a year ago. As you see, just massive change. You know, YouTubers age incredibly fast. It's like the reverse case of Benjamin Butthole. Just kidding. I've still got that youthful glow about me. It's from bathing in sweet scented oils and whatnot. Actually, what's going to keep me going for an, an eternity and makes me simply immortal is the the fact that I'm going to melt down the plastics from my controller collection and inject it directly into my veins, thus becoming one massive controller myself. Actually, that's a bad strategy because I'll probably die prematurely to stick drift. So if you enjoyed the video, liking it helps it to get seen by more gamers. This information will reach in a system as well, which in turn helps me grow this little channel, which I do greatly appreciate. Subscribe for more content like this. I cover news in the gaming community and industry, tutorials helping you get set up streaming and YouTubing, as well as honest gaming product reviews, keyboards, mice, headsets, controllers, mics, chairs, etc. There are some hefty exclusive discount codes found only in the description of my videos and only for the audience here at Gamer Heaven. I have links to all my other platforms and socials in the description below. To get in touch with myself and the stallions and stallionettes of Gamer Heaven, join the community discord and check me out at twitch.tv where I go live every other leap year on a blue moon if it falls into an odd calendar number and my pH balance is on point. Just kidding. Starting June, I'm going to be live streaming a lot. Thanks for watching. This has been AK40 Kevin hosting Gamer Heaven and I'll see you tomorrow because I upload daily all the time. 60% of the time. Sometimes. Most of the time. Peace.